Hey, you want to go to the movies? We're talking about the movies before. Yes. Talking to movie stars. Check this out. I like this movie a lot. It's called Book Club. Hi, beautiful friends. I would like to introduce you to Christian Grey. Oh, no. We started this book club to stimulate our minds. From what I hear, this book is quite stimulating. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, wow. The whoa, what's that? That's not mine. I've never seen that book before, honestly. This is nasty. Have you ever been spanked? What? Tell you, this is a great cast. Mary Steenburgen in there. We've got Jane Fonda, Don Johnson, Craig T. Nelson. He's a he's a great guy too. Uh, Candace Bergen. I mean, it's just a terrific cast. And when these guys get together, it's it's one of those movies where you think like, I don't know if this movie is for me. And then you start watching <laughs> it and you start laughing. It is hilarious. It's good. And uh, the acting is just unbelievable. So I had a chance to talk to all the stars. And that was really a great opportunity for me. I just had such a good time talking to them. Jane Fonda, Don Johnson. There he is. You like him, huh? I love Don Johnson. Yeah, we're going to talk to him next week. But today, right now, we're going to talk to Andy Garcia and Diane Keaton and talk a little bit about how much fun they had making this with all these other stars. It was the most fun I've had, acting in a long time. <laughs> Falling down and just having a great time with Andy and you know being allowed to kind of loosen up the script a little. Yeah. And we, it was just so much fun for me. Isn't it I something it. that this movie has the men being the more romantic side of the relationship too, huh? Yeah, we're, uh, the con conceit of the story is very fresh, you know? And, uh, for me, you know, if I said it, I'll keep saying it, you know, the, everything so it has to start in the material, you know, which is why Diane chose to be in the movie, anybody chose to be in the movie. But once I knew that Diane, you know, was in it, it was, you know, I, I pursued this film. It wasn't like they called me and said, you know, you're the guy. I said, no, no, I, Diane is doing this thing. I want, let me, I want to meet the director. I want, I want to tell him what I'm going to do to Diane. <laughs> <laughs> And he believed me, you know. <laughs> I was dancing as fast as I can, and he believed me. <laughs> you can't yeah, see this guy like, act, though, can you? No. No. That's what's so fun. That was what made it so great for me. I just didn't expect, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. I mean, I knew Andy, and we'd been, you know, in Godfather 3, but we oh didn't my really. Goodness. How about that? Whoa. Wow. Gives but, you chills. We knew each other socially yeah, a lot. Socially. You know? Yeah, socially. And we were comfortable, which is, I thought, was great. You know, with each other, it was that. <laughs> I, 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 I told Bill when I met him, and yeah. I said, I think I, I think I can have a behavior with Diane that could be very special because I know what our, yeah. how we, you know, what our relationship was even as friends, you know, so, and, uh, and, I, and I feel like it'll be a safe place for her to play. That's really what I thought. Oh, and that's true. It's great to talk to him. You know, the first time I met him was Untouchables. Remember how long oh, ago that yeah. was wow. with Sean Connery? Jimmy Malone. Yeah. That was his character. That was his name. Yes. <laughs> how about that? How was that for a coincidence, yeah. right? Yeah. And Diane Keaton's been in so many great movies. You know, she's won a couple Oscars. and uh, She's amazing. Yeah. So That's a star-studded cast right there. It is so much fun, too. And next week, we're going to get a chance to talk to uh, Jane Fonda and your buddy Don Johnson. Yes, and, Miami Vice. And what's really inter interesting about this movie is that the girls, you know, like one's a widower, one's divorced, and uh, one wants to have a boyfriend, all this kind of thing. And, and the book sort of like sends them in the right direction. So the movie's not about the book. It's more about the relationship between the, the ladies. But what makes it really unique is it's the men in most of the roles that are the romantics. Okay. Oh. Like Don Johnson would like Jane Fonda to be more friendly to him and oh, maybe okay. be his girlfriend or maybe marry him, you know, but, and he has to keep trying after that. And I got to tell you, to meet Jane Fonda, you know, I said, I told her when I left, I said, man, you're beautiful. She goes, oh, thank you so much. But I mean, people must say that to her 10 times a day. Huh. She is oh. the most lovely, lovely, beautiful woman She's you've stunning. ever seen. She's 80 years old. She's wow. stunning. Yeah, so it was really, really a lot of fun to see these guys, and these are people that you know have a lot of, a lot of great miles. Well, and so we're going to be talking with more of them next week, then. Next week, right? And also well, Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> I was out there to talk to her a little bit too. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's a little fun. You're Melissa busy. McCarthy. She's a, she's a funny one to talk to too. She's like about four feet tall and three feet wide. <laughs> <laughs> she, I love. She she's cracks cute, me. Up. She's the cutest little lady you ever saw in your uh, life. She cracks. She's a funny so a lot guy. of good movie stuff coming up. We're headed in the summer, so now it's like you know. Popcorn, it's the time. roller coaster, that kind of movie stuff.